place is abandoned, man. You one of them? Am I trying to kill you? Not presently. Who are you? I find it best if we don't personalize each other. It makes it a hell of a lot harder to kill you if you become one of them. Fair enough. How long you been here? Oh, ever since it happened. <clears throat> Oh, my leg. Not exactly mobile. How'd it happen for you? I was driving up north with my girlfriend when I heard some weird shit on the radio. Figured it was fake or something, so I just turned it off. About half an hour later, I was driving by some houses and someone shot our tires. About five or six of them jumped out of the woods and surrounded us. Started jumping on top of the car and breaking windows and shit. They got her and I ran, crawled out of the window and cut my leg. I guess things like this do bring out the worst in people, huh? Anyways, I ran down the nearest street, this one, and found this place. How about you? Just a few minutes ago, a kid, or one of them, broke into my house through a window and ended up killing him. Is that your blood? This? Nah. I had some bruises though. That how it spreads? From what I heard, yeah. I found a small radio back here that actually worked. Batteries are dead, but at least they said it's not airborne. It's transferable through cross-contamination, sex, saliva. Shit's like rabies. Except it makes you want to kill. <sighs> You got any family? I had some. Two parents. That little shit happened, tried to kill me. So I did what I had to. Did you enjoy it? What kind of question is that? Like when you killed that kid, did you enjoy it? They're my parents. The second lie you told me. You want to explain why you're covering up that wound in your side? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 